So guys, it's your boy Farwell, and today I have got a very uh, annoying topic to talk to you guys about. Now, I didn't want to put this for my last video last week because it's a bit of a downer, but there is just such a key issue that is wrong with this game that I just can't see to, so seem to get around, and it's very apparent in this first Swatnams game that I'm showing you, and. Let's, let's just take it back to pre-patch um, when the game was released. Now, we all know that FFA and perhaps maybe SWAT, oh, I didn't really think so, but FFA and SWAT ranked players too high. Most of the players um, got ranked Onyx and that meant there was a flood of players in Onyx rank, which obviously meant lower skill players were getting destroyed by players that should be high Onyx because if you're Onyx, you're ranked against other Onyx players, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, and you couldn't go down. You couldn't go down ranked other than the one you're first put in. So if you're bad and got ranked Onyx, you're just going to stay there. And this was highlighted in a little experiment I ran. And I created a second count, account to just play and relax, you know what I mean? Because this game is so competitive as I predicted <laughs> a few months back. Um, but what I did is in my first game, I came top. And I was like, mm, okay, now from now on, I'm going to play to lose. So what did I do is I ran into the corner every single game, the next nine games, I ran into the corner and didn't make an influence on the game, I stayed out of sight, that sort of thing. And I came last every other game. All the games I came last apart from the first one. And guess what where I got ranked? Onyx. Yes, Onyx. Even though I came last in nine of the ten games. Now, this this Oh, this is like such a game changer because it just floods players with Onyx and they, they shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be there and it's just unfair. And if you want to be competitive on this game, you've got to be playing people your own skill level. Not people that are, well, to be honest, based on what i just done there, you, I should be bronze rank if that was me. But no, I'm putting Onyx. That's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond. Oh, that's six ranks higher. Six. Anyway, that was pre-patch. So post-patch, they changed the ranks. And you would have thought they would have made them slightly better. However, I made a second account again. Um, and currently, uh, for FFA. And I finished last every game I've played, which is six. And I'm actually currently trying to find a match. And it's, 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 not, it's not searching. It's not like finding matches. Which is crazy, because I've been searching for games like, for ages, across different times, to make sure that I've got... I'm trying to get it like in the evening of the UK, which is like the most where it, it peaks the player count because of like Americans coming on that. And so there's clearly an issue with people not playing free for all, or if they are, I'm not being ranked against them. Now, that, that's firstly a, an issue. But what I think is even bigger is the harshness of the SWAT ranks. Now, I personally didn't think there was an issue pre-patch, but 3 for 3 obviously seemed to did, seemed to think that there was an issue, and they decided to toughen it, clearly. And it's the only game type where I feel, personally, I'm capable to get Onyx or even Champion rank. I could get Onyx in like Slayer and Team Arena and that, I'm good enough for that. But SWAT, I'm actually, it's not to blow my own trumpet, but I feel that I'm actually really quite good at SWAT compared to my other game types. Now, I lost once or twice in qualifying. I was playing alone, by the way, just so you know. I was playing on my own, and I lost once or twice in qualifying, one of which was my first game, and won the rest by a large margin of 25 plus kills a game. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen me live tweet what was going on. Can't find a match, gonna have to research. You would have seen me live tweet uh, my SWAT adventure, I guess you could call it, in qualifying. And I showed people with the after game stats, how many kills I was getting, how many deaths if I won the game. And I tell you, I won every single game. I won eight games straight. I remember it. Eight games straight. It's all on Twitter. I might put it on the screen. And I was I was showing people screenshots of my um, of my games. And so bearing in mind that I was getting 25 plus kills a game, winning every game, apart from the first two maybe. Um, guess what rank we got? Platinum one. Platinum, platinum one. Platinum, platinum. Is that a joke? Three for three, really? Pla pla platinum one. Platinum one. Let's just think about that. 
If I think that I'm Onyx or Champion, I'll rank Platinum 1. That's just scraping above gold. I was matching gold players all the time. So, it's, I was basically gold 6. Gold, well, let's just say Platinum. Platinum, Diamond, Onyx. That's 3. Champion, 4. So, that... Uh, and as you can see in this game here, in SWAT Magnums, which isn't my best SWAT. I'm obviously not very good at SWAT Magnums. I do far better than any of the other players on the opponent's team. I'm playing with my friend and Zealous, so that's why my team is sort of, you know, high scoring. But I, I get like a Kilimanjaro in this one. It's not like it's not like I'm just scraping past, I'm destroying the enemy team. And I think this is where my theory comes in. Now it I actually totally think this is legit. Comment what you think, but I honestly think that only one of your qualifying games matter. Only one. And it's your first one. If you win your first one, yeah, you I think the game sort of sticks you in the platinum region, yeah? And then you play again. And if you win you go into the diamond. And if you lose you stay in platinum. And then again and again and again. Just think of it as a tournament analogy. So if you're in the tournament you start at the bottom. If you lose your first game you're out. That's it. You're playing against gold players bronze players, silver players for the rest of your life. That's it. Done. But if you win your first game, you then go up. You then play something else and then go up again and then up again. And I think that's where it's wrong. Because in a tournament, if you lose your first game, that's it. You're done. Whereas qualifying should be 10 games of equal chance of winning. So it should be more of a league, if you like. Not a tournament. If you lose your first one, okay, you're in last, but you've got 9 games to redeem yourself. That's not what happens in this. You lose your first game, bam, that's it, you're out. And while your first game, I don't want to... Your first game doesn't necessarily determine your rank. That's not what I'm saying. But it de determines who you're playing in the future, which ultimately determines your rank. So if you haven't noticed, because I lost my first two games in SWAT, I was playing gold for the rest of the time, even though I was getting 25 plus kills, winning every single game. And if you start playing golds, you'll keep on keep on playing golds. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all. And it might go one each side, but you're, you're, you're yourself, it's not going to change. And as you saw, I win every game and that's what I get. Anyway, guys, that's my theory. 3 for 3, just change it. Just change it. The SWAT ranks are stupid. I can't find a game in FFA. More playlists, please. <laughs> oh, bring back holiday social and team doubles. That was good. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Comment below what you think the current situation of ranked is. If you agree with me with that first game analogy, the tournament analogy, comment below. Give it a like. And that's all from me, guys. Like, subscribe to it on Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.